Here's a little tune that Emily wrote. Emily is my lovely wife. She also plays mm -hmm. the guitar for us. And uh, we've got this on some CD, but I don't remember which one. So you'll have to buy them all just to find it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we could point it out to them. Call We Can't Be Sweethearts. That wasn't written for Fred. <laughs> We're just waving at all the bees up here. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, then. Oh, okay. Uh, what was that? Farewell to Long Hollow. <laughs> he's still here. <laughs> you know, we're going to do that one. We really are. <laughs> Carrie says he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> right now, let's get now. We're going we're gonna to do a tune that uh, we kind of like a lot. It's a hot rise tune. Kind of reminds us of driving down the road late at night after you finish the job, going home. And we'd like to dedicate this. To you. Yeah. Uh, how many of you have ever been to the Pub and Duds here? They used to be here a few years ago in Pocatello. We played in there quite a few times, and Bob Davis was the owner of that place, and he uh, went on down the highway, passed away in June, and in the ripe old age of 70 something. But we really enjoyed playing there, and he was always really good to us, and we, we uh, liked that place. It had a nice feel. It was a combination laundromat and tavern. <laughs> it was very unique. Yeah. So that's kind of unusual. But, but I think is, Bob was very unique. He was very unique. His place was very unique, and we just wanted to recognize Bob Davis for how good he was yeah, to us. Bob loved bluegrass, and so here we go with Midnight on the Highway. Midnight on the highway 
is over.